Welcome to another exciting episode of Cruise Control Extreme. I'm the car chick, and we're here today at the dirt track in Charlotte at the Circle K Back to School Monster Truck Bash. We've got some testing going on over on the oval track. We've got the monster trucks and some motocross here. It's just a great day for racing in Charlotte. Hopefully the weather's going to hold out for us. We're going to interview some of the drivers of these great monster trucks. Then we're going to head back to our own garage and keep working on that 64 Malibu. And finally, we've got another segment of the Mustang Corral. Show you some more great parts that you can use on your Mustang. So stay tuned. Cruise Control Extreme. We'll be right back. This segment brought to you by, for the highest quality in car restoration, think Steel Rubber Products, SteelRubber.com. Call now 1-800-650-6189. For service and integrity since 1976, it's the National Parts Depot. Visit online, npdlink.com. Order today. For all your radio and communication needs, go to racingelectronics.com. We use quantum towing for all our towing needs. Call 980-328-4160. Hey boys and girls and blokes, I'm at Carolina, you pull in Rock Hill where you pull the pipes yourself to save money. Come with me now, we found some wild beasts. Well boy, you find everything you need here, perfect vehicle for a safari, and look at here, I got a wild Mustang. Look at what we found here, Thunderbird. He's an Impala, he's got some great points. Here at Carolina, you pull in Rock Hill, there's bugs all over the place here. Get off of me, would you? Ain't no matter what you call, they got the part right here, Carolina Savage, Carolina, you pull it in Rock Hill. Race fans, are you looking for the best memorabilia from your favorite team or driver? Look no further. It's here at RacingMetal.com. You can find sheet metal, autograph items, and much, much more. Go to www.RacingMetal.com or call us at 973-417-2717. You can also find new and used parts for your racing car here at RacingMetal.com. That's www.RacingMetal.com. monster truck bash We've got a lot of the trucks lined up here that the kids can actually walk up and touch there's even a truck that you can ride along in you've also got some rides for the whole family and they've got some free food that I think I'm gonna go check out down here I'm here with Austin Drummond, one of the freestyle motocross racers that's going to be giving a demonstration during the halftime show of the Monster Bash. Thanks for talking with us, Austin. Yeah, anytime. Uh, glad to be here. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are going to be doing during the halftime show at Monster Bash today. Well, we're going to bring our takeoff ramp out there. we got a big dirt landing out there, so we're going to set it up about 75 feet and uh, jump it, do some tricks for everyone, and uh, hopefully the crowd enjoys it enough to see someone go upside down. Upside down? Yeah, this guy over here, too cool for school. <laughs> now, how high up in the air do you guys end up when you go over these jumps? We're about 30 feet in the air, somewhere in there, probably 30, 35 feet. With a helmet? Of course, always with a helmet on. <laughs> that makes me feel a little bit better. Thanks so much, Austin. I appreciate it. Anytime. This is great out here. They've got all the drivers lined up so all the kids and their families can get autographs. Really bringing the fans into this monster truck bash, giving them what they want to see. It's really great for the whole family. I'm here with Brandon Bud, who drives the Hot Tamale. Thanks for joining us, Brandon. No problem. Good to be here. 
So tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing today. Uh, we got a little bit of racing, actually a lot of racing. Uh, big track out there, got an over-under and uh, freestyle, everybody's favorite. Sounds good. What uh, secret stuff you got for the freestyle tonight? Uh, just hit everything, go wild, go crazy, tear some stuff up. That sounds great. Now, how do you have, do you have your truck set up specially for this particular track? Oh yeah, we got our shock set up for a whole lot of softness, so it, it takes it's pretty good. You get some big air here. It's one of the biggest tracks uh, probably in the United States. This is, this is big stuff out here. Now, do you think that the, the neon colors will help you in the competition? Oh, yeah. See, I can see you already being a fan. we got some neon going on. Yeah, definitely. I love it. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate it. No problem. Good to be here. We're here with Dan Patrick, who drives Samson. Tell us, what do you got for us out there today in the freestyle? In freestyle, oh, there's a lot of great things there. You know, we'll keep hitting that big jump because we love big jumps. Buses, donuts, it's, it's a little, you got some greasy spots. You can go in there and like a big old hog in the slop. You can throw it down. <laughs> And then uh, there's just a lot of obstacles there. So you will hit the racing obstacles we hit on the back side so we can get air. Um, it's just one of them deals where you just start driving, you hit things, you see how the flow goes, see how it's going, make sure, you know, your equipment's staying under you. And, but mostly it'll be the bus stacks, um, the donuts, and just the freestyle hills. That sounds great. What is going to be your biggest challenge in the competition tonight? Um, well, you know, we have a little threat of rain, so that's going to be something we're worried about. And there's some greasy spots out there because it rained here Thursday night. So the track isn't at its best, but it's a good, it's going to be a very good fast track if we don't get rained on. So it's just going to be in qualifying, go out. I've kind of picked my spots where I don't want to be in and and just kind of fill it out. Then what I'll do is I'll see where how I bracket through the night. And then I'll play my strategy out from that and just um, it, it's just a, a hammer down kind of a track. And that's the kind of track I like. That sounds great. Did you do anything special in the setup of the truck to account for the fact that we've had some rain? Not really because if it does rain here, it's just good, nice South Carolina clay or North Carolina clay, <laughs> and it's just grease. So uh, you really can't, there's, there isn't really a tire combination that's going to help you. Um, you'll just have to change your driving style. So it all will be from the driver's seat, not so much the truck. Well, that sounds good. Good luck tonight and keep the shiny side up. Okay, we try to do that all the time, but if it rains, there will be no shiny sides tonight. <laughs> <laughs> sounds exciting. Thanks so much, Dan. Thank you. I'm here with Troy, who's driving the Equalizer truck now. Weren't you driving Hot Tamale last year? Yes, uh, driving a uh, Hot Tamale, which uh, won racing here last year. Great. Now, why did you switch over to the Equalizer, and is there any difference between this truck and the Hot Tamale? Uh, it's a little bit of difference as the way they're set up, but the Equalizer driver, his uh, daughter was getting married today, so it was an important day for him to miss this one. He, he, was, he wished he was here, but uh, I, I got the chance at it today. That sounds great. You got any special moves you're going to pull in the freestyle tonight? Uh, you're going to have to wait and see on that one. <laughs> Ooh, it's a secret. All right. Well, thanks so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it, and good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Here is Steve Sims of Stone Crusher. Steve, what have you guys got planned for the competition today? You know what? There's a lot of tough trucks here. They brought eight or ten of us in here, the best in the country. But you know what? I've been here before. I've won here. I've lost here. I've won freestyle here, and I've also cut short on freestyle. I've had some breakage. I've turned the truck over. But you know what? We feel good this year. The truck's in top-notch shape. The crew chief and all the crew has taken very good care of it. Got all the nuts and bolts tight. It's an awesome race course. They've changed it up just a little bit. And you know, along as this weather holds off, the track's a little sticky right now. We'll do great. That sounds good. Are you concerned at all about the rain and how it might affect you? The rain always affects racing. You know, it, it, it'll be a little bit slick, but it won't stop us. It might slow us down a little bit, but we'll still give the fans an awesome show. That sounds great. Good luck tonight. We really appreciate you talking with us. All right, thank you very much. I'm here with Brad Allen, who's driving Spike. What have you guys got planned for the competition today? Oh, just high-flying action for freestyle racing. You guys seen the track. Who knows what might happen, that big jump out there. I've seen it destroy a lot of trucks. I've seen a lot of guys clear it, not have a problem, so who knows? We might be driving the truck back in the trailer, we might be loading it with a dozer, who knows? <laughs> now, have you done anything special to set it up for that particular jump? Um, we went through the shocks a little bit, got a different set of tires we're running this week. Uh, just little stuff for me, just to adjust the seatbelts a little bit tighter for that big jump. Uh, just little stuff, not nothing major, but... I think tighter seatbelts is probably a good plan. <laughs> well, good luck tonight. Thanks so much. All right, I'm here with Jim, who's driving the Avenger. You're one of the most exciting drivers here tonight. What have you got planned for us? Uh, just wild and crazy action. You know?
You know, the, the truck's ready to go. It knows when we're coming down here to Lowe's because it knows this is the track where the magic happens. You know what I mean? We've won a bunch of times out here. They build an awesome course, the biggest race course in the country, the biggest race course in monster truck history ever. And the freestyle obstacles are awesome, just like we do everywhere else. Got some big, giant, crazy stuff. We're going to go nuts, man. We're going to tear this place in half, turn these fans on, and show them what it's all about. That is definitely what it's all about. Now, that is a huge jump out there. How much air do you plan to get for us? Oh, dude, I get the biggest air. You go on YouTube and places, dude, I get the biggest air. It's how it works. Avenger likes to sky it out. We are definitely going to turn the fans on. In racing, you're going to have to have big air. You're not going to make it to the, to the next round. Freestyle, it's going to be over the top. That sounds insane. awesome. Thanks so much, Jimmy. You guys have fun out there tonight. Oh, we're going to, no doubt about it. We'll sign some autographs. We'll have fun now, too. <laughs> Thanks so much. did a ride along in this monster truck. How awesome was that? That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. What about you? Freaky. Freaky? Why was it freaky? <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome? What was the best part about it? Going up the big dirt hill. Going up the big dirt hill. Well, that sounds like fun. Are, are all your brains still in one place? <laughs> well, thanks. Did you guys have fun tonight? Now, I understand that they're doing a sleepover tonight for the Boy Scouts with the monster trucks? That's right. We'll be camping out overnight, watching the monster truck show and having a great time. Then we're going to be camping out uh, in their tents right on right on the, uh, the track and uh, the scouts from Troop 101 in Waxhaw. That's wonderful. Now, are you guys going to sleep in the trucks or are they going to make you sleep in the tents? They're going to make us sleep in the trucks. The boys would love to sleep in the trucks, but we're going to be sleeping in the tents tonight. Well, that sounds really exciting. You guys have a wonderful time tonight. Well, thanks. And the scouts are having a great time. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have transmission problems? Bench built transmissions of Kamapolis can repair any transmission, including automatic and straight drive. They also repair rear differentials and clutches. Over 30 years' experience in the business, they know how to do it right and do it right the first time. They're located on Highway 29 in Kamapolis, just a short distance from Concord or China Grove. Bench built transmissions is knocking out the competition. So if you're having transmission problems, come see Chuck and all the gang at Bench Built Transmissions, 704 933 8727. Attention all veterans. Recently back from deployment, having trouble with the grind of everyday life? Do you want to learn the skills to ensure a successful career? Are you looking to better yourself through higher or continuing education? We have the solution. The Manpower to Horsepower Motorsports course. Educational opportunities for military veterans with physical disabilities. At Manpower to Horsepower, we have the right people to help you through everything you're going through as you learn a great career in motorsports and car restoration. Major courses in this program include Introduction to Motorsports Management, Engine and Drivetrain Fundamental, Motorsports Marketing, Chassis Building, Fabrication, and much, much more. Call now for your information packet at 704-638-9330. Your new life starts today. Call now. Welcome to another edition of the Mustang Corral. Today we've got Rick's 2006 V6 Mustang and we're going to install a new intake system from the John Powerhouse. Now I know we've shown you intakes before, but this one's different. This one works with your factory tune. Now why is that important? Well, custom tunes are really expensive. They can run you four to six hundred bucks. So the fact that this one works with your factory tune, it's going to save you a ton of money. And that's four to six hundred bucks that you can spend on, say, a dual exhaust system. So let's see how it works. 
We're getting ready to install our new intake system from Jajan Powerhouse. Now this comes with your aluminum pipe and you can get it in a variety of colors that exactly match the factory paint of your 2005 to 2009 Mustang. Get the little coupler on the end and that comes in black, blue or red. Give you the little clamp and this is the magic sleeve that allows this system to work with your stock tune and that's what's going to save you a ton of money. Now you can get this by itself and provide your own air filter or you can order it with the K&N air filter or the AEM filter. Now we're going to show you just how easy this is to install. First disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Then take out the 10 millimeter bolt that holds in the old air box. Then disconnect the PCV hose. Then unscrew the hose clamp that holds in the rest of the airbox hose and pull the whole airbox out. Using a torque driver, take out the mass airflow sensor. Be careful not to damage it because it has to go into the new unit. Place the mass airflow sensor in the new tube. Don't worry about putting it in upside down because it only goes in one way. Then replace the screws and tighten the mass airflow sensor down. Make sure that the rubber gasket around the mass airflow sensor is making good contact with the tube. This will ensure that you have no air leaks. Remember, don't over tighten the screws because you may break the mass airflow sensor. Now place the tube on the throttle body and clamp it down with the hose clamps that are provided. Again, make sure not to over tighten the clamps so you don't damage any of the pieces. Next, reconnect the PCV hose and the mass airflow sensor. Next, install the new filter. Make sure you don't over tighten this as well. Make sure the tube has enough clearance underneath it so it's not hitting anything and also make sure it's not up too high so it doesn't hit the hood when you close it. Start your motor and make sure everything is running smoothly. Make sure the motor is not misfiring or skipping. You saw just how easy this intake system is to install. Now you can order yours on the 3SX website, and if you don't want to install it yourself, that's okay. They've got folks that can do that for you. Just give them a call for a quote. Now, let's take this baby out on the road and see just how great this system sounds. Looking for newer used parts for your race car? Look no further. Here at RaceProvenParts.com, you can find all the parts you're looking for. We have parts for all types of racers. Just go to eBay.com, click Stores, and type in Race Proven Parts. Find what you're looking for? 
or call us at 973-417-2717 or go to racingmetal.com and click on the link. And if you're looking for racing memorabilia, you can also find that at racingmetal.com. Race proven parts. Click and save. Good evening, folks. I'm Ryan here at 3SX Performance Automotive. Are you looking for a custom automobile, motorcycle, hot rod, import? Come on down and see us. Don't take a chance, folks, on the internet and the bidding sites. Come see the professionals here at 3SX Performance Automotive. From imports to American muscle, folks, we got everything you need right here at 3SX Performance Automotive. And all of our inventory here is certified hot rod ready by our ASC certified service department. Call us at 704-786-7866 or visit us on the web at www.3sxcars.com. 3SX Performance Automotive, when getting from A to B just isn't enough. Okay, now that we got the chassis where we want it, we're going to start on the rear end. We're going to open it up, go through everything, freshen it up, replace anything that needs to be replaced, then get it back in so we can have a rolling chassis. Using a socket the same size as the bearing, you need to tap the bearing in. Use a hammer, but be very careful not to damage the bearing. Add a little grease so that the seal will go in a little easier. You can use the same socket to put that seal in. Remember, same as the bearing, don't hit it too hard. You don't want to damage that seal. Carefully slide both the axles into the housing. Slide the pin in that holds the differential gears in place. Next install the bolt that holds the differential pin in place. Before installing the back plate, you need to clean all the old gasket off the housing. For this you can use either a wire wheel or a sanding wheel. Next put a bead of silicone around the whole housing. The back plate will only go on one way. There's usually a higher spot on the back plate, which is used for clearance on the ring gear. Next, place all the bolts in place and tighten them down. Next, using a floor jack, raise the housing up into the rear end of the car. Line up the rear end with the four arms that hold it in place. Slide your bolts through the arms into the rear end. It's now time to reinstall the rear coil springs. Install the bushings in the housing for the upper arms. You may need to use a punch and a hammer to line the bolts up. Make sure to tighten the bolts down really snug. Now it's time to put the tires on the car. At this point now you have a rolling chassis.
Attention all veterans. Recently back from deployment, having trouble with the grind of everyday life? Do you want to learn the skills to ensure a successful career? Are you looking to better yourself through higher or continuing education? We have the solution. The Manpower to Horsepower Motorsports course. Educational opportunities for military veterans with physical disabilities. At Manpower to Horsepower, we have the right people to help you through everything you're going through as you learn a great career in motorsports and car restoration. Major courses in this program include Introduction to Motorsports Management, Engine and Drivetrain Fundamental, Motorsports Marketing, Chassis Building, Fabrication, and much, much more. Call now for your information packet at 704-638-9330. Your new life starts today. Call now. I'm the parent of two sons that drive every day. Don't let your parents receive the phone call that Doug got last year. Last year my two boys were killed in a car accident while they were driving fast, less than a mile from the house. There is a place to drive fast, and that's right out here where Clay and I do, at the drag strip. Go to putonthebrakes.org to download a safe driving contract and learn what you can do to be a safer driver. joining us for another exciting episode of Cruise Control Extreme. I've got Brutus here to say goodbye from the Monster Truck Bash. Join us on CruiseControlTV.com and like us on Facebook at Cruise Control Extreme. You can also listen to me, the car chick, on the America's Garage radio show. Well, I'm going to take my sexy media vest and get out of here. We'll see you guys next time. But buckle up, be safe, and keep it on Cruise Control. <laughs>